Hey everybody, we're here in the home lab in front of the flow hood and we got three photobioreactors here. We have one one gallon photobioreactor and we have two half gallons. Um, they're not filled all the way and they have nutrient solution in them. Um, they just came out of the pressure sterilizer. They've been cooling down. Uh, they cooled down overnight in the sterilizer. Um, so I'm gonna be introducing the chlorella into the two smaller ones and the hematococcus into this larger one. Um, so this is, uh, the first test run where I'm going to try and turn the hematococcus red, um, I'm going to do it in this one gallon. Um, and then the chlorella, I'm going to expand into these and then I'm going to expand them a little bit more. Uh, share a little bit of the cultures and uh, expand it out to um, make it so I can start harvesting from some larger uh, tubs. So uh, I have the air pump going through this HEPA filter. It's, it's on. Uh, i show you guys should be on. Yeah, it was on. I just need two hands to get that on there. Um, but it's on, and I can disperse the uh, microalgae cells uh, in the bottles before I introduce them into these new, new photobioreactors. Um, I'm going to be using sterile methods. Got the burn zomatic over here, uh, where, which I'll be using to uh, sterilize the tops before I transfer them out. Um, sterilize both these are stale right now, but I'll sterilize these, um, open this, take out the polyfill, introduce the culture, and move on from there. So, um, yep, that's what I'm doing right now. I'll get back to you once the cultures are dispersed. Now that I've split them out, it's time to go put them in their new home underneath the lights. Uh, with all their air filters in um, on the seedling heat mat to keep them up warm. Um, so this has been the algae expansion. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share on Facebook and Twitter, all your favorite permaculture blogs, phycology blogs, anything like that. And stay tuned for more video updates.